versus Blacklist International. Eyes on the early rotations. Where are junglers starting? Welcome to Mobile Legends. Just seem like both teams are trying to like make sure that their jungle is safe. Grid, of course, on that Hilda will be attempting to try and get a bit more value, abusing that passive coming in from the Hilda. Yeah, so it feels like it is going to be a mirror matchup. Of course, the Fanny will prioritize the purple buff first, but instead of seeing Vin, you know, hard invading on the enemy side, it is Vin on the protective side. It's something, as I mentioned as well, all my Venus will need to stay around the mid lane, need to make sure that Haji gets to level 4 as quickly as possible. Yep, and... For the first minute, 45 seconds, I'd say Vin could be a little more aggressive. And I guess that's why Haji and Omai Venus are staying here. That's the reason why they're trying to protect Wise and get him his buffs before, again, the much, much faster Albert can come in and try to contest. Mm -hmm. A lot situation right here, but Vin actually gets jumped on. He gets stunned. Won't be enough in this early game. And this is the problem, right? They. Uh, they don't really have any pressure in the side lanes to try and facilitate Vin trying to just disrupt Vice farming pattern. And being on a Fredrin, he is, he can hold his own 1v1. Yep. I, I mean, the best part about why he's going for the Fredrin jungler is that he's unfazed about the damage coming up from Vin. He, and not only just that, because all my Vinus is sticking around the mid lane, there's a lot of here, but hold on a second. Elvis already spinning over here. First going over to the Hawk Park connection. Hit it on the right, but this is what RQ exactly needs to do. Small lead in a minute and a half, about 500 gold, but that's what you do with a lineup like this. We thought that the target was going to be Haji. It is Oh My Venus, bursted even through the ages. That mm -hmm. is unreal. Early game damage coming in from RQ. It's not even level four. Yep, uh, something to note. We didn't see this in the prep or the draft going into this. A battle spell we rarely see in game, at least in the professional scene. Yes, indeed, folks. That is on my Venus on the Aegis. Oh, something down bottom here. I feel like it's just about Aegis, making sure that if Oh My Venus is able to survive even longer to sustain against the burst damage coming up from Albert so that he could just spread out the heals. But something very interesting is Oh My Venus is one that lost uh, his life first. Haji only gets hit level four at the same time. A lot of pressure coming in. Albert coming to the spin, but he will not be able to find anything as well. Edward Pulse the splits it for now. It's coming in. Possessing Vin for now. On the middle, but here comes the call. All that is the same time. Hunting in the back line. Learning now the air airstrike. But will be in the push Vin out of the jungle. Oh, that's a one for none. And that's our Q with a man down. They're pushing Clay away as they start this first turtle. Yes, Edward. Oh, no. He's actually putting a lot of pressure against Albert. But Albert's actually spinning around. Look at the... Uh, uh, oh, no. Albert, Edward just managed to push Albert away, giving Wise that turtle. That is absolutely fantastic. All right, you're going to get something back. Edward is the main target here. Edward! And it's not over. Both teams duking it out. And they're duking it out. It is all going. Oh no, Albert, he got taunt right inside the turret, inside the brush as well, but he's able to cable away. Blacklist International, they stabilize, but RRQ on the other hand, they're, they're, they're not taking prisoners. Ooh, it's just a tough situation right here, and Albert is the one that needs to back off. Better airstrike. Both trading, but Feather Airstrike will not be able to make a big difference. And I think Wise actually stole the orange. Yes, he did. Looking at uh, the board here, Blacklist have gotten a small lead. Again, three minutes and a half. We're about a minute and 15 from that next turtle. Again, let's talk about the emblems here, because again, even the battle spells have gotten already pretty tricky. Rashi, talk us through. I mean, look at all that movement speed being prioritized. Rotations, rotations, rotations. <laughs> that is what both these teams like to use to get an advantage. And unfortunately for our Q, Early on in this game, I don't think Faramis Cult Alter can give you that much value because you have you don't have the same amount of damage that you can dish back out. Whereas for Blacklist, having Haji on that Farsa just allows them to just destroy RRQ when they're clumping up in the jungle earlier. So they need to wait for a bit more power spikes to ensure that Aside from having a second life, they had the damage to back it up as well. Yeah, and already, it looks like RQ are off-tempo. It seems like Blacklist's response to this hyper-aggression in mid has found its match. Wise gets pulled very, very precariously because, again, bigger presence from RQ here in the mid. But Turtle is spawning in the top side. Oh, him pops. A torn apart memory. Oh, I'm loving Blacklist positioning right now. I love all my Venus positioning, in fact. Being in the mid lane means that you could actually rotate all the way up top, all the way up mid, all the way bottom. In fact, even the jungle, this global map presence of All My Venus is there. Even with Albert's Fanny, wasn't able to match. This is why it's just so difficult. 
RRQ, they want to go for pickoffs. They want to abuse Albert on that Fanny with that early game damage. But when Blacklist clump together, fight together as a team, they have the Faramis as a quote unquote counter, but it's not working right now. The Fede SI will be able to land off Albert as Ooh. well. Albert will be able to camel all the way out back to safety. But that is a very low jungler. Albert needs to go back and reset. Blacklist, they have total control for now. Oh, they go ahead and start it. R7. It's only R7 first to the scene. R7, Jipping is up in the round. Skylar coming oh. in, but it's going to be R7. Going there, still will be able to come. Finn, Finn will also fall in the hands of Wise for now. But R7, look at this joy. Super annoying. And Hanji, can't get the machine. Will also fall. And right back now, trying to delay, trying to actually put down some damage. But look at Skylar, he's actually pushing down the at the same time. Kane already here, but Edward possesses R7 right there. But what are you going to do? There's a Skylar right there, right ready for you to pop. Edward, I swear, a little bit afraid of you. You have to run away, my boy. But Edward, turn it A long form trade there by Agent Zero, buying time, buying map space for Blacklist International, keeping that fumble in, I guess, recoverable space, and they push down bottom. Arashi, how did Blacklist recover? They were just able to actually buy so much time in that fight, and their members were able to come back from the fight despite being taken out earlier on due to the big combo from RRQ. This is what RRQ needs to be very careful about. They have a lot of damage, but they need to make sure that they do not allow Blacklist to have multiple rotations of their mm -hmm. ultimates. Finn! Finn is a casual, might be the set to pop the ultimate for now. It's gonna be all my business again, Shikandi Ola. But here comes Alba for the assassination! He fights the Queen! And we'll be able to zip and set all the way! RRQ on the roll right here in the KDA. Arashi, that's Oh My Venus, third death away! V-Wise, of yeah. course, if you take down V-Wise, it's gonna respond. Oh, they're looking for something. He's trying to look for something. Skylar will be able to be MI all the way out. Edward, I don't think there's any kills for now they can do. Blacklist, they managed to stabilize for now. Arashi, it's so, talk to me. It's so dangerous right now, man. Our Q, I think once they have a bit more items, they can start being a lot more menacing to Edward, to Oh My Venus and Wise. This is what we've seen again and again. Very solid damage dealers from back far away, and three very solid tanky members in the front. This is what Blacklist is working with right now, and unless RRQ has the right items, for now, Blacklist still has the advantage. They can still bully RRQ away from the objectives. Yep, but it's gonna be being that engages all the way, but it's Tay coming in, but it's gonna be Edward. Oh no, he stops Albert right now. It's gonna be Retro Battle, but it is won by Wise. And now, and then there's gonna be Blacklist going to try to do something. R7 all the way in the back line, looking at Edward. He's actually super tanky right now. The Vengeance in the pop. Wise oh. coming in, the better entry going in. R7 needs to run away. And he managed to run away from the artillery strikes. Something tells me this is the ideal engage that Blacklist was looking for maybe two or three minutes ago. Yes. That's what they wanted to do in that other turtle up top, and now they're able to finally execute. They're able to pick off a win in that jungle fight, and afterwards, you can see that everyone just jumps on the opportunity. RRQ, they are forced again and again to back away, but now that Skylar has the golden staff, it's gonna be something that Blacklist needs to keep in mind, right? They are working against the clock right now. And with this 1,000 gold lead, their stats against Indonesian teams at M4 are looking a little better, right? The small lead in the mid game, eight minutes in, 1,000 gold ahead. They're currently sitting at zero and six against Indonesian teams. Their fate may change right here. They have, a they have a chance to just turn it around, but look at this EXP lane. It's just constant battling, and keep in mind, R7 was able to be so tanky there due to that vengeance. This will be a lot more annoying the longer the game goes. Once he has the concentrated energy, the other sustain items, it's gonna be near impossible for Blacklist to try and kill him without locking him down. Yeah, locking down, I think from the side of Blacklist right now, they're able to stabilize Bono. Oh, man, man. he gets caught out. It's a whole gang, but Connors are coming in just in time at the same time. Gonna jump it all the way in. Let's go, oh, the will not be able to do more than enough for RRQ to slowly take down Blacklist. It's gonna be just Wise, he gotta be just Edward, and now Scott, he gets caught. Baby, am I out? R7 on the chase right here. Wise looking in the middle, oh, Edward oh. definitely trying to fail, and then he will try to possess going in this Vincent. He got on top of R7. It's just a slow, slow death for 
to joy. Agent Zero gets his man. Down goes R7. Something tells me as we get more into the late game, there will be a cap. There will be a limit for RRQ's aggression, and then more and more Blacklist can find their way into this game. Ten minutes in. The longer the game goes, the more healing Omar Venus will have, but also the more damage RRQ will have. So it's going to be a bit of a balance. It all comes down to execution. That blazing duet was just so devastating, and if Blacklist keep coming together, that's dangerous. Albert coming in would not be able to do the retro battle. Albert needs to time out for now. It's going to be Blacklist going to be engaging on top of RRQ. Oh! It's going to be Ben and first of all, the hard G. The heel coming in, managed to sustain for Blacklist to fight. Down goes the M-Series all-timer who hit his 500th assist in the M-Series overall win, sitting at zero. Five and five. The Hilda's doing its work, right? Looking at its items, he has physical defense in the Antikiras. He's building up towards magic defense. But I gotta say, against Blacks International, you're really only building against Oheb for physical. What's going on here? Well, they want to make sure that their main pickup tool, right? The tournament memory cannot be used. Oh! Oh! Strike! Elba gets deleted! Right off the map as he tries to get his purple buff, and that's not a good timing for RRQ. Arashi! Back to the point. Back to the point, man. The Torn Apart Memory is the main tool they're using right now. Yeah, the Better Airstrike is going to be difficult to deal with, but R7 is going to try to deal with the whole team of Blackest alone. Yeah, but no, it's just that. It's going to get denied by the Oh My Venus actually here, but the Urban Mike Vengeance actually trying to take the shot. Hey, coming in with the car, making sure that the Joy stays alive just a little bit. Ben, he finds the back line, and he wipes out uh, Haji at the same time. There'll be the trade for R7, but Oh My Venus, the damage started to come for RRQ. Blackness is trying to crack the bottom lane open. Oh, they pull Oh. And the split split comes in right on time. The baby alien has to respond to the lane up top. And just like that, 11 and a half minutes in, 5k gold lead. Black International turning the map red. It's such a chaotic game, but at the end of the day, Black is are the ones with the map pressure advantage. Now, once the lords become even more important, they can use this to set up traps for RRQ, even though in, in, in the way, right, RRQ has a better vision game, considering that they have a very strong front line. Let's, let's take a look by the instant, uh, at the instant replay by TikTok of that fight. Begun with R7, just going in alone, but afterwards, Vin was able to locate Haji in the midst of all the chaos. Unfortunately, though, it's all traded in for several turrets in the process. Every single time, if it's Vin for Haji, that's worth it for RQ Hoshi. But if R7 has to come along, that bundle package is way too much. Yeah, the burst damage is something that Vin has to be careful about. <laughs> Not a real one manipulation, mind you. The pair the airstrike, you can see Vin has to tap out. Yeah, That's and just looking at the items, Arashi, I just noticed, man, the 4K gold lead, you can see a lot of it on the junglers. You can see it on Albert, you can see it on Wise. There's almost, what, a thousand and a half, two thousand in between them. Oh, here we go. Oh. Joy Vengeance instantly deleted. That is a very scary jungle for RRQ to be in. This is the traps we were talking about with that vision game. Tyler. But look at the split push coming in from RRQ. They're trying to find value despite being on the back foot. Yeah. And keep in mind, on the point of items, there is a Megas of Durance already rushed to be built by Clay. But Blacklist, they seem to just going for the base. But the airstrike will be used to zone on RRQ right now. Albert's trying to make a play. He has to recall back the base for now. It's going to be Skylar. Oh no, he gets oh. on by Wise. And that will be a monster kill. Give it over to the Blacklist jungler. And Blacklist, right now, they will ensure the fight. What can oh. you do? When you don't oh. have a damage killer, Wise will say no more clay. One for one, Skylar for Haji, and just like that, Blacklist makes a beeline for the Lord. Arashi can RRQ contest. Without Skylar, it's going to be a very tough process. He is the main damage dealer for the PPM members, unless they can pick up Oheb or Haji. It's going to be Albert. very, very difficult, but Albert seems to be trying to make an attempt. Vin, just check in. And just like that, Blacklist, let's go. It looks like they want to make sure that it's a clean go. They want a full, maybe 3v5, 2v5 if they can. But with the way RQ Hoshi are finding Haji and threatening to kill on Oh My Venus, it's not so easy. It's not really easy at all. Skylar could just BMI right in and all try the Blazing Duet. But then there's the Menace, right? Oh My Venus, the thorn against RRQ's side. 
This is the difficult part as well. Blacklist, they are content just trading out damage because they have All My Venus on the Estes that can allow them to sustain through modes of the damage. The same thing cannot be said for RRQ. We have to rely on a cult altar, right? A more decisive use of an ultimate to try and gain advantage. Vin can sustain with the shield and the healing coming in from the passive, but it's one compared to five. And for Blacklist right now, they have all the map pressure in the world to work with as well. But right now, Albert is the one that's far away from this Lord. They might just watch it. Different Astra going in at the same time. It's going to be the Lord that will be forgotten by the ball of these two teams. The Cold already committed, but that's the damage coming out from Clay. And R7 will be able to find it back by Woody's only asking it away. Wise will be down. Oh, trying to get you to do something, but he won't be able to do anything for now. R7 trying to tip his ass. The ultimate was already activated oh. for now. Albert, he got it for the assassination. And that's the jungle gone. The jungle advantage going to RR2. Oh, him for Vin was a good trade, but oh. now Sky it's R. all going down. No, that's not a very good trade. RR2 does have the Richard Boucher battle right now. It's off the blacklist trying to make something happen. They need to try to land the retribution at the very, very right time. He has a retribution. And he gets the Lord! The baby alien scores it, and you hear the kingdom roar! RRQ running away, Edward and Omai Venus trying to look at least for a trade on the map. Blacklist still with a small lead, but RRQ Hoshi scores a Luminous Lord. They have caught up, and man, the building literally was shaking at that Lord take. That was way too close for comfort, and now Blacklist make a play for the purple. It does seem like Clay will be able to secure that buff. But now we have a bit of downtime, and let's talk a bit of the items yet again. Glowing ones have been purchased by the side of RRQ, knowing that there's just way too many big dudes on the side of Blacklist International. But on the other hand, look at Haji. That's a lot of burst damage, Divine Glyph as well, and with the, with the truncheon, there's a potential for an outplay to happen here. RRQ need to be very careful in calculating how long the cooldown is on that item. Oh, I think they have eyes on where Edward is. Oh. Haji pops a Feather Dare Strike, pushing Oof. away Vin. And this is what's so hard when you're Blacks International, right? You have to manage the waves because Albert's much, much faster than a majority of you. And then now you have to play Honest. So far, Blacks International have kept a small lead, but now RRQ Hoshi, they've done so well in the covers. The map is blue. I think it's the other way around. It's RRQ that's a little bit behind his goalie. Bla they actually slowly claw all the way back, but it's going to be why R7 getting a bit of damage point here. Wise in the thick of thing. It's going to be all my minutes slowly healing up. Wise, like this international, they defended their throne for now. This is the limitation of this team composition. Sure, it's a lot of damage. Sure, in a big fight, it has so much combo potential. But when you're up against a Barca, there is no high ground and there is no marksman to try and whittle down these turrets. So RRQ will be very, very reliant on winning fights with the Lord and then using the Lord to crack open the base of Blacklist. Now, knowing this, Blacklist can very easily adjust and look for traps, opportunities, and loopholes to try and punish RRQ. Oh. Wise playing Whoa. with fire. R7 comes R7, in. R7, Haji has to fly away, but it's going to be R7. Activated out in his way. He's over the way in the back line. He's launching a low play. Managed to touch Kao out there just in time, but it's going to be all my meters actually desperately healing. The fight is using the melee. It's all about the fight. Playing against Tonsa. Wise, wise, wise. Unstoppable, unkillable. Skala has to step out. Haji managed to take that Albert as well. Albert is not going to allow her to get around away. Oh, Albert is there to die down Clay. The is... only problem is they left that wave up top. But again, a man down is a man down. Albert, 30 seconds away from spawning. Can he make it to this Lord fight? Are they going to start it immediately? We can just go for it if they really want to try and deny Albert. But that's still a risky play against Araki's composition right now. They seem to be going for that oh. mid base oh, target. Oh, oh. Yeah. But look at Clay. Look, he's looking for an opportunity. This might be disaster for them. Oh, Hab going in. Clay was actually going to activate the Shadow Stampede just a little bit, try to zone it away. But Blacklist just needs to love to have that mid lane. And now RRQ's base cracked open. That's permanent damage Ooh. in mid. Something that RRQ constantly have to tend to. And that's what Blacklist is avoiding. That's why they sent Edward back home. That's why Haji's paying attention to top lane. And Lord is a clean 5v5. I think RRQ just need to execute the fights cleaner, uh, cleaner here because earlier there's a lot of burst damage, there's a lot of potential, but when you funnel in one by one like that, it allows Blackness to deal with the threats individually. Whereas if you come at the same time, the Fanny, the Hilda, the Faramis, as well as the, the Claude, they have to actually uh, ration out their card control and maybe some one of them will pull through and be the deciding factor for Araki Hoshi. Yeah, so they have to be very careful. Something tells me there has to be some specific way of cascading your skills for Araki Hoshi to get it right. Now, 
Vin trying his luck. R7 coming in with an angle. Vin eventually wants to fight as well. They can't auto activate at the same time. Hunter, he's better airstrike. Trying to provide some high ground, some protection for Blacklist International. They shove RRQ out of the team fight. Just didn't work out. Now, yeah. Edward on R7. Let's see the relentless one not letting go. Team captain always pushing forward, oh leading with boots on the ground. This joy, four and four and six. That is the KDA of a true warrior. R7 wants to force the issue. And look at that wave down bottom. It's a huge wave, and R7 is pushing it out again, but Blacklist react almost instantly. R7 can flank right here. He does have the Divine Blade. That's a lot of damage available. Vin will be the one that oh. falls. It is going to be the giant are going in the back line. Oh, my Venus. He's actually trying to kill, but we're going to be able to do so. I think it's a little fall. There's no damage in the bottom. It's not a Blacklist anymore. RRQ, they will try to fall on this fight. Oh, my goodness. The Queen will fall, and now RRQ full control of the map. That was the exact order that they were trying to pull through the past five, six minutes. That's it. And now, RRQ are threatening an inhibitor push. It's going to be an inhibitor push right now. It's going to be Vin that's absorbing all the time. It's going to be cracked open from the outside. But Edward, no, no, it's way too much for the battle. RRQ, that is every more time than RRQ. They are not going to give any more time. This is game number one, ladies and gentlemen. It's going to be wise. Definitely try to all, but there's so many people beside RRQ for now. Blacklist, Blacklist, they need to do something. What is it? Going punch? Not a good idea. It's RRQ. They stay number one. Man. Oh my god. The King of Kings draw first blood here in Tennis Indoor Sinayan.